Good morning and welcome to Round Peg. This is Lorraine Ball and with me today, Paige Jones. And today, before we get started, this is a very important day. Very important. It is Benny the Cat's fifth birthday. Happy birthday, Benny. Please don't get into too much trouble today. Okay, so we're past that. We will be posting on our Facebook page some point today a birthday greeting for Ben, which leads me to today's topic. Mm -hmm. We're going to post that, and I'm not going to share it from my personal account to the no. Facebook page. Nope. Why? Well, you see, um, there's a big difference between post posting organically and seeing another page's or person's post and sharing it. Um, the number one difference being is that Facebook really hates when you share a post from another page or another person uh, on your on your own uh, Facebook business page. The reason this is is because um, Facebook doesn't really want to show people content from pages or people that they are not friends with or follow. So they're going to essentially downgrade that share and not show it to nearly as many people. Whereas if you post something organically, even if it's the exact same content, um, you're going to get a lot more exposure that way. And so a lot of times this happens, especially with organizations that have got loyal friends and followers, mm -hmm. and they, they want to help, and they think they're helping, mm -hmm. and so they're sharing content. So what are some strategies to maybe harness the enthusiasm of your community mm -hmm. for good? Well, you can still uh, repurpose that information that they're sharing. Uh, I would always ask for their permission because that's just the polite thing to do. Uh, you know, take the picture that, um, say, Lorraine shared a very adorable picture of Benny on her personal Facebook page. I would then say to Lorraine, can I use that picture, very cute picture of Benny on the Facebook page? And then I can, she gives me permission, I can uh, copy and paste and put it on the Round Peg Facebook page. And, you know, it's always also polite if you're using someone else's content to uh, just tag them in it, just like, hey, thanks for the photo, Lorraine. Um, so you don't, it's not lost if it gets posted to a personal page instead of a business page, but you can definitely, uh, it's definitely better to post to your account. Well, and so the advantage to reposting my content and then tagging me is now I can share it and my friends and family will still see it mm -hmm. as if I had posted it because I was tagged in it mm -hmm. and I'm going to make more of that. Um, Something else that I think is a, a good strategy, and you can tell me you, you hate it or love it, if you as an organization put something up and invite people to post their photos and stuff as comments in that initial feed, it'll kind of keep showing up in people's timelines. Yeah, comments are great. Um, so you have comments with videos or, or photos. Yeah, comments and videos uh, with photos and videos are great sometimes um, with one of our food clients. Um, if, there's a, if there's a special on turkeys, mm -hmm. like this upcoming Thanksgiving, we're going to do something similar like, oh, like send us, a, send us a picture of your turkey for Thanksgiving. And so people really enjoy and get engaged with that. I would discourage um, Facebook users from posting to uh, business pages because sometimes business pages do have settings where they don't allow guest posts on the page. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is the default. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to comment on one of their posts with a picture, that uh, is great too. So if you have a community and you want them to be engaged and involved, it's not so much discouraging it as it is encouraging them to get you the content so you can post it and share it and kind of showcase some of the cool things your community is doing. Yeah. Awesome. If you've enjoyed today's conversation, be sure to come back next Monday. Look for all the rest of the cool stuff we're doing everywhere else on the internet and be sure to wish Benny a happy birthday.